I've been just kind of celebrating the past. Um, I'm really fortunate right now to be in the position I am, um, like socially, economically, but my grandma and then her grandma and people like that weren't necessarily in the same situation. So it's just about celebrating the past and kind of thanking the people that paved the way for me to be where I presently am. Think of it as a celebration of all the achievements and accomplishments that Black people have made throughout the years. But then I also think of it as a reminder of all the bad things that have happened in our past and continue to happen to Black people to this day. Um, black History Month to me is a celebration, but it's also a reminder of the past. Um, black History Month to me is more just reflecting on uh, the past of Black people around the world. So I really enjoy this month because it's something that maybe sometimes I don't really think about um, because we have come so far as a people, but it's really awesome to kind of see all of the progress that has been made and just all of the great things that have been done by Black people around the world. So. When I think about who I've been inspired most by that is African American, that's someone that looks like me, I think of Barack Obama. And it's not just because, like, oh, he's cliche, he was the first American US president. It's mostly because he's done something no one else has been able to do before. And the challenges and struggles that we've had as black people throughout the years for someone to become um, the leader of the free world, to have my complexion is truly astounding. And I aspire to be almost as great as him every day. One person that stuck with me was Malcolm X um, because I read his autobiography a few years ago and I was just shocked as to how many things that he went through and what he did to overcome. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say he's probably one of the top ones. I think my grandma, I love her to pieces. She did a lot for my mom and my, my uncle Kevin and I. And just kind of showing what it means to be strong and powerful, to kind of occupy spaces where there aren't a lot of representation. So that's kind of was really important to me. <laughs> Around that month is when you do see a lot more kind of like articles and spotlight. And I usually, every Black History Month, I feel like I learn something new that I hadn't known before. Um, so for me, basically, I just do like maybe a little bit more like research or reading into the people that I see that I may have not learned about before. So it just gives me some extra info. I don't personally always do things, but sometimes my grandma will do things and she'll let my mom and I know what that means to her. Um, it's definitely something that I wish I maybe did celebrate more, but presently I don't celebrate Black History Month stuff. Yeah, so one of the ways like I know my family celebrates Black History Month is that we like my family's from Haiti, so like we're the first Black independent country in the whole world. So like one of the ways we think about Black History Month is thinking about the revolution that led to the freedom of slaves in Haiti and then led to the freedom of slaves in the rest of the Caribbean. And it's a really big thing for us as black people because before that, we didn't have a country. We didn't have a place where we could be free when we were slaves. So like to commemorate Black History Month, we honor our ancestors who fought and died for our freedom. Um, and successfully fought back for our freedom um, so we can speak about them and be free ourselves today in today's time.